Nicholas Cassidine's fate seems sealed on General Hospital, but is he really dead? It wouldn't be the first time that death isn't a permanent condition on the ABC soap opera. Spoilers confirm that Nicholas Cassidine, recast Adam Huss, is actually dead. Ava Jerome, Mora West, conned her raging husband in the head. But can you blame her? Nicola's vowed to steal her daughter, Avery Corinthos, Peva, and Grace Garola, away from her. So she snapped and whacked him out of anger but not intending to kill him. On General Hospital, Dr. Austin Gatlin Holt, Roger Howarth, recently confirmed that Nicholas is dead. So that sure seems final, right? Maybe, or maybe not. You'd think a doctor would know what dead looks like, but it is a soap opera, so they can rarely take the storyline where they want to on GH. If they did bring him back, which actor would they use? Read on for a glimpse of who that could be. Six actors played Nicholas Cassidine. You may recall Tyler Christopher originated the role in 1996 when Laura Spencer's Jenny Francis son came to Port Charles. Stephen Martins took over on General Hospital from 1999 to 2003. Later, Chris Beatham and Nick Stabile were short-term recasts. The latter took over when Tyler Christopher was abruptly axed. The actor told Michael Fairman in an interview last year that he blamed himself for losing his gig at GH. He discussed mental health and addiction issues as the cause and continues his recovery process. Then Marcus Coloma was cast as Nicholas in October 2019. Two years ago, Adam Huss stepped in when Coloma had COVID in 2021, and again when Coloma had recurring health issues. That in late 2022, Coloma revealed he was leaving General Hospital. Why? They simply showed no interest in renewing his contract, he says. Huss finished out the last couple of weeks of filming chatting with G.H. Allum, Steve Burton, and Bradford Anderson on their podcast. Coloma said the ABC soap made no moves toward contract renewal. He said there was no negotiation, and he doesn't know why the powers that be didn't want to keep him. But the now-departed Nicholas Cassidine actor said, I didn't feel like I got fired. But he said it hurt him. So, another simmering question is whether they'd resurrect Nicholas and bring back Tyler Christopher. While many viewers would like it, it could be a risk. With admitted addiction issues, it could be problematic for General Hospital. When her movies hire actors with addiction concerns, they often must take out costlier insurance and draft morality clauses into contracts. So that seems a less likely outcome. Last we saw Nicholas Cassidine, his body was shoved in a closet. But will it still be there when Ava goes back, presumably with Austin's help, to dump the corpses Nicholas really dead on General Hospital? Remember, Hamilton Finn, Michael Easton, and Liz Weber, Rebecca Herbst, diagnosed Peter August, Wes Ramsey, as dead as a doornail. But then he crawled out of the freezer where they'd stashed him. How did a doctor and nurse both misdiagnose his death on the ABC soap? It was kind of ridiculous, and it could totally happen again with Nicholas on GH. Even if he's gone for good now and presumed dead, they could resurrect Nick later. The easiest body dump is off a parapet at Windermere, and once the water takes him, the writers can introduce doubt that could eventually bring back the dark Cassidine prince. So even if General Hospital killed off Nicholas Cassidine this time, that doesn't mean it's a permanent thing on GH. But for now, it looks dire.